yo did you click this video because your dog won't stop constantly barking just <coughs> bark, 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 bark. <coughs> and that's what you're here for you're trying to figure out what do i do do i go buy a trainer do, do i go you know take them to daycare what, just what do i do if that's what you're here for man you are in the right place i'm telling you that right now because i got the best shock collar on Amazon under $40 that will cure your problems, man, with all this barking, man. But first off, if you're new to the channel, make sure y'all hit that sub button, man. We on the road to 10K. Make sure y'all smash that like button, man, because I got just what you need. The brand new shock collar on Amazon under $40, man. Stay tuned. Yo, what's up, everybody, man? It's Georgia Boys, Jay Shaw checking in with another banging video, man. Like I already said, if you are here because your dog will not stop barking, you are in the right place, man. I got the best dog shop collar on the market, man, on Amazon for under $40, man. If y'all go check that link in the description, man, and get yours, I'm telling you, it'll change your life. I got a seven-month-old husky mix. He could not stop barking man he could not stop barking he wouldn't stop barking my bad he wouldn't stop barking he would bark when i'm on the phone he would bark when i'm on calls for work he would bark when we're eating he would just love to hear himself when when we were doing something if we were paying attention to him and then he would probably not bark but if we were on the phone he would bark if we would turn our backs he would bark he would just bark constantly we have a uh, family over or you know anybody over he would bark 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 now he's the sweetest dog ever i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna say he's just a bad dog but he just had a problem with barking kobe kobe no 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 we try to fix that and you know for everybody out there that's against shock collars, you know, I understand it's people out there that says, no, I don't want to hurt my dog. I don't want to hurt my dog. That's understandable. You know what I'm saying? To each his own. But I will say my girl was against shock collars for the longest. She said, oh, you know, what about a trainer? Oh, you know, what about this? What about that? We tried everything. He wouldn't stop barking. And I kept trying to tell her, let's just invest into the shock collar, man. It's only it's under $40 on Amazon. It's under $40. So she gave in to it, man. We got it. And I promise you, it changed our lives and my dog's life. You know what I'm saying? It took one time. So let's get into it, man, so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. So here we have it right here, everyone. This is the NVK Shot Collars for Dogs with Remote on Amazon for under $40. Like I said before, man, if you want to claim yours, go to the link in the description. And you know what I'm saying? Claim yours right now under $40. But here it is, man. All what comes in the box. We have the remote itself that I would get into the functions. We have the shock collar itself. And then we have these different little accessories. So we can start off with the shock collar. So these are contacts. So you have long contacts and you have shorter contacts that come in the accessories bag. The long contacts are for dogs that have a thicker coat of fur and they have short contacts for smaller coats of fur. So they also come with these little rubber covers that go over the context if you don't feel comfortable with the metal tips touching your dog's skin to each his own. Like I said before, every dog is different. Every dog's behavior is different. Whatever gets the job done is what I would recommend. So for my dog, I have a Husky mix, seven months old. But for my Husky, he has long contacts. We started him with the short contacts. It did absolutely nothing. We did we did short contacts with the uh, with the rubber um, covers over it. Did absolutely nothing. Took the covers off. Short contacts still did nothing. So we had to move to the long contacts with the cover. Did absolutely nothing. And now we just have the long contacts with no cover at all. So, but to get into this, man, all you have to do is turn the collar on with this power button on top. You see it blink. Then you go to the remote. The remote turns on with this twisty knob up here. As soon as you twist it. It comes on those two batteries down there this is the remote battery this is the shot collar battery so a great feature that i like about this that's it's small but the little things matter to me man i don't need batteries man it's a little you know 
one is for the remote and the other is for the uh, shock collar and they both go into the same like USB thing and you just plug it into the wall. So that's pretty unique. The remote has a unlock and lock button. When you lock it, you cannot do anything with the remote. This is for, you know, you wanna prevent malfunctions and anything that you're scared of happening with this shock collar is why it has a lock button. You cannot do anything. I usually have this lock button on um, when I'm pretty much not using it at all. When I'm about to use it on my dog, I unlock it and then do something. Other than that, it's always locked because I want to make sure he's protected, make sure nothing happens. So with this remote, let's get into the functions. With this remote, you have the beep button, vibration, the shock button, and then this is 10% higher than your shock button. So if your shock button is at 30, this will shock him at 40 instead of you having to always change that setting. With the beep button, I usually, when I first started using this, I used this beep button to warn my dog that something, you know, that you need to stop. So the beep button would sound like this. Then let's say he didn't stop. Then I would use the vibration button. The vibration button, self-explanatory. That's how it would, you know what I mean? Obviously you know what it would feel like, but that's the vibration button. Then you have the shock button and you have 10% plus. As you can see right here on the display screen, up here, this one, that's my shock level. So I have my shock level set for 30 on my dog. Every dog is different. I started the, I started it with the standard uh, number that it came on, which was 18. And that did absolutely nothing to my dog, nothing. So I had to gradually push it up until I figured out what worked for my dog. Every dog is gonna be different. So in order to change your shock level, it goes from zero to 99, that is the range. So you would hold the shock button. This is a shock button right here. This is your vibration button out here. Both can change. Your vibration button, your vibration level is down here. So in order to change your shock level, you would hold the shock button and you would twist this knob to whatever you want. And I'm gonna set it for 30 because that's what my dog is on. And then you would just lock it. Because that's, that's literally all you need. That's all you need. And that's literally the functions of this device. You have different channels right here. If you have more than one dog, that's what pops up on the screen. If you have more than one dog, I only have one dog. That's why it's only one. So, but that's pretty much it, man. It's, it's self-explanatory everything. When you first get this remote, you do not have to shock yourself to see if it works or none of that. In the accessories kit, it comes with a lighting tool, a lighting like tool slash kit where it has little metal, um, kind of like metal, tiny little metal rods that would light up this button right here to make sure that your shock collar works. And I could demonstrate, demonstrate that for you right now. All you would do was sit it up like this, place these two, make sure the metal uh, rods are touching the metal contacts. And all you gotta do is do a little shock and you see the button, the light, the light pops up, which means that the shock works. And that's all you need to determine if the shock works or not. Other than that, that is literally it. It is the most simplest, uh, you know, simplest shock kit that I've ever seen. You know, I've never had a dog before, um, that especially that I had to use this on, and I thought it was gonna be complicated. It's not complicated at all. That was literally it. I'll run through that again. You have the beeping, you have vibration, you have shock, which whatever level you have that on, which I have it on 30, and you have 10% more, so then it would be 40, without even having to change it to 40. And like I said, you have your lock button if you wanna make sure you don't press any buttons on accident. And that's pretty much it, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to use this ZVK shock collars for dogs remote. Pretty simple. If you want it, make sure y'all hit that link in the description and go claim yours now on Amazon for under $40. But let me, let's get into the best part and show you the changes that it did to my dog. I hope y'all enjoyed that quick tutorial, man. Now it's time to get into what people love to see and that is the change that it made to my dog. So like I said before, to each his own, a lot of people don't like using the shot collar because they don't wanna hurt their dog, all this stuff. And I understand to each his own, 
I have my opinion, you have yours. This works for my dog perfectly fine. I was able to save money on a trainer, all that extra stuff. Instead, I just invested under $40 to get this dog shot collar and it worked completely fine, man. So let me show you some examples. My dog used to bark like crazy and let me show you some videos real quick. That's enough. Kobe. Kobe, that's Kobe, that's enough. You don't Kobe, you need to relax. Stop. 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 Stop, Kobe. Kobe, stop. Stop. Just let me pet you. What is wrong with you? Stop. Kobe, enough. Enough. Sit. Cough. Good boy. Stay. No speak. No. No. Stop. Stop it. And then after that, we got the shock collar. And all it took was one shock. One shock. My dog would bark at us for absolutely anything. It took one shock. We warned him with the beep. We warned him with the vibration. The vibration kind of threw him off a little bit because he didn't know where it was coming from. But then when we used the shock, it scared him a little bit, but he has not barked since. And my dog has changed completely. My dog is, 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 I can just show you right now. trying to tell y'all that usually when you have a stare off with him he'll start barking every time i promise you and you see right now we having a stare off he does not want to bark and i could show you another example when he did start barking and how it goes now that the, that we have the shot collar because now when he starts barking it's a hard, firm no, maybe one or two times. And all I do is pick up the remote and you'll see how he acts. So watch this right here. Oh, it doesn't, okay. <laughs> no. No. And I can show you right now exactly how we use it. No, Kobe. just like that all i did was go grab it and he really that's that's completely my fault i kind of provoked him i brought the camera in his face so i knew that was gonna draw attention so that's actually my fault but if you can see the difference in his behavior he has changed tremendously i would recommend this to anybody that has a you know energetic dog that always wants attention that's gonna bark for whatever you know what i'm saying it works i promise you it works i'm really recommending this to people out there that are fed up with their dog constantly barking constantly barking and this did the trick after one time that actually and i promise you was my first time hearing him bark in about two days for no reason now he plays with himself like you know what i'm saying just goes around does whatever you want to do if he barks we say no he listens and he walks away he would never have done that before so I would recommend this to a lot of people out there, man. Like I said, if you like what you see, make sure y'all hit that link in the description, man, and go cop yours now if you want to stop all that chaos barking that your dog has been doing, man. Appreciate everybody for tuning into the video, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button for Georgia Boys, man. We on the road to 10K. Thank you for tuning in, man. Georgia Boys, they shot we out here.